Hello folks and welcome to another Unity tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to turn these coins into something you can actually physically collect and add to a score system. It's going to be simple, there's going to be a little bit of coding in it as well, but you should follow along and if you have any questions that you want to ask, obviously pop them in the comments section once you've watched the video. Before we start though, there is a few matters that we need to deal with. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video as well. Liking the video does help our channel. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do first of all, we're gonna create a couple of scripts today. We're gonna create a script that manages our score and a script that we can attach to the coin to actually function as the score point itself. I'm gonna First of all, though, is I'm going to create a folder by right-clicking on the assets. I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it prefabs because the coin we've got, we're going to be adding quite a bit to it as we go. And obviously, we want to make sure this prefab is saved that we can just click and drag it wherever we want once it's created. So open the prefabs folder, go up to your coin, and just drag it into the assets folder like that. And the benefit of that is that we can now just drag it onto the screen any way we want to with all the bits already on there and it will work exactly as we want it to. Let's delete that one first of all there as well. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a C Sharp script. So go into your scripts folder and right click create C Sharp script and we're going to call this script the score manager. I think it's probably, you can call it whatever you want, of course, but I'm calling it score manager. Open up that script. Not much to write in here, but there are very, there are some very important functions we need to add. Okay. Right, so we're not going to need the update method in this script, but we are going to need a void increase score int increase and then press enter I'm going to open the curly brackets there the curly braces I'm not sure what they're actually called those brackets but we are, in fact we need to make that a public void so it can be accessed by other scripts as well just get rid of that green bit of text there I don't need that there we're going to declare a couple of things now as well we're going to call it public whoops public static now, the next bit you need to make sure you write correctly is the score manager. So that's the name of the script we've called it. It has to be exactly the same. And in this bit, we're going to put S manager. So it's just an abbreviation, really, of score manager. Again, you can call it whatever you want to, as long as you remember it and it's spelled correctly. Okay. In the start method, then, oh, no, we forgot one more thing as well. Sorry. We also need to do a public int. And we'll call this one player score and we'll set it to zero. Okay. And then in the start method, we need to basically allocate this function here. So it's S manager equals this. Okay. And in the public void increase score function we need to this is very straightforward this one try not to get lost on this bit it's public player score plus equals increase semicolon so the increase is that bit there which is an integer we've declared it there and the player score is obviously what we've declared up here is zero so we're saying player score add the increase to the running total we're going to control S to save that script and we're going to go back into Unity. Let it compile for a second. Okay, now that score manager script doesn't actually get assigned to an item. It's going to be assigned up here and we're going to create an empty like that. We're going to change the name of the game object and we're going to call it game manager. And then again, you can call this anything you want to. Um, I've decided to call it Game Manager, and this is quite useful because you can add a lot of different scripts to this, and it will run as and when the game is running itself. 
So I'm going to take the score manager script that we've just created and I'm going to drag it into the game manager there. And there we have it. Score manager, player score, zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the coin and we're going to add a new script to the coin. New script to the... Deary me, get my teeth in. A new script to the coin. We're going to right click on the assets down here, already in our scripts folder still. We're going to create another C sharp script and this time we're going to call it coin score okay and then we we'll open that up by double clicking it open up Visual Studio okay and what we can do we could actually add this script if we wanted to to the rotate we could actually add, add these functions to the rotate but like I said before I want the rotate kept as a separate script so we can add that rotate function to other things if we want to so I want to do a separate coin score script and there is only one bit we need to put on here really and it's void on trigger enter there we go so if other which is there game object dot tag is equal to player so that line there is saying if another game object with a collider with that name there, player, hits the object with this script attached, we will do the following things. So we're going to go to we're going to go to score manager dot s manager dot increase score and then we open the bracket and this is where we put the amount of our score we want. So we're going to add 10 on here for the coin. You can add one, you can have whatever you want. Press enter and then we want to destroy this game object which is the coin. So we don't want the coin to exist anymore in our world. So the score manager, this, this line here is basically accessing our score, score manager script using the S manager function there. It's then accessing the increase score function and it's telling us to increase the score by 10 points. Simple as that. So control S out of there and then we're going to go into the Unity project once again, wait for that to compile. And now this is where we add it to the coin. So we've got the rotate script already on there. Now we're going to get the coin score script, drag it over to there, and we're going to add it to the coin. Now what I can do now, I've created a prefab of this. All I've done is change the coin on the script. If I go up to overrides here and click apply all, that will now add the coin script to my prefab. So if I go back to the prefab folder here, there's the prefabs, and there's the coin. Click on the coin, there is the coin score script. So when I drag this prefab out now, it now has the coin score script on it. And you can drag all of them out there, and you've got three different coins. Capsule Collider is on there, and it's the trigger is set with a tick, which is great, because that's what we're activating, so it is a trigger. Because obviously the on trigger enter method. And now if we select Game Manager, and I'm just going to make this a bit bigger, the game window, and keep an eye on that score there, and keep an eye on these coins, because when we press play, this should work. So let's see what happens. Okay, let's just focus there. There's the three coins. There's the minimap from the last, um, last episode. I've made it a little bit more of a realistic size this time. Now if we click, click the coin, there we go. Ten points have been added. The coin has vanished. Go click this one. Boom, another 10 points, coin is dam damaged, disappeared. Boom, another 10 points. There we go, we now have 30 points and no coins left to collect. Very, very straightforward, very satisfying as well when it works. So there we go, if you've enjoyed that, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and thank you ever so much for watching. Bye for now.